Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second season of my TV show. And I also want to say happy fall, everyone. Today is Monday, September 13th, 2021. Um, you know, it's Monday, and as always, I'm going to show you the food that I will be eating during this week and even some food that I will incorporate into a recipe that I'm going to be making on Wednesday. And I am going to show you right now. And also, I will note to you that a lot of this food is very folly. Um, pun intended. Uh, yeah, and I hope that you would really uh, like this. So, here we go. Take a look at all of this food, guys. <laughs> yeah, I have so much. Um, so, I'll go over uh, it with you. So, uh, yeah, I'll just tell you all the food. I'm not going to tell you if it's going to be for breakfast, lunch, dinner, blah, 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 because that I'll tell you um, on Wednesday. So, here we go. Let's start out with the pumpkin pie um, shaker pudding mix which is, uh, you know, from Skinny Delight, a.k.a. Uh, Robard. Well, actually, I found the name of, uh, it's called Distributed by Healthy Solutions Clinic of Crowley, LLC. Crowley, Louisiana, uh, 70526. And, uh, yeah, this food here, it's only 100 calories. It's 15 grams of protein. It has no fiber, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, it has only 1.5 grams of total fat, it has only 4 grams of sugar, and it has most of the, you know, vitamins and minerals it's listed is 30% of daily value, or no, most of it is 20% of daily value, okay. And, you know, there's 7 packets, and there's 1 packet per serving. Okay, now we got this, which is uh, cinnamon bars at the nutrition bar. Which is 16 grams of, uh, 15 grams of protein, 20 vitamins and minerals, and each of these is 160 calories. This is the standard, uh, you know, amount of calories per bar. And you get five grams of fiber in this, and only eight grams of sugar and two grams of sugar alcohol. And uh, I think this will do well. Wait. Now I got this uh, butter pecan with caramel with a uh, chocolate flavored coating. Yeah, this is 10 grams of protein, 4.5 grams of fat, with 2.5 grams of saturated fat, 4 grams of fiber, 12 grams of sugar. Uh, it has 6% iron. It's 160 calories. It's pretty small, you know, compared to it's. It's more calorie dense basically which is not exactly as healthy I mean but I mean I'm just saying if that's if you're of that opinion but anyway I, I mean I just bought these foods like this and this and this because I want something that's more folly and I'll, I'll show you some more like fall you know something suitable because it's September remember and this will be like this through November uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, I also got oatmeal, uh, maple brown sugar, it's only 100 calories, it has 2 grams of fiber, which isn't as much as I thought it would be, but anyway, 15 grams of protein, it has 1 gram of total fat, and no sugar, apparently, well, that's, at least they're reducing the amount of it, which is good, because we don't want to have too much sugar in our diets, but provide a judge, right? 10% uh, calcium, or, never mind. Okay, and then I got these pop quarters, uh, the spicy queso, I will have you have this uh, to eat. It's 120 calories per 28 grams, which is around 17 chips. So, so it's about seven servings per container. Five grams of fat, 0 0.5 grams of saturated fat, it has two grams of protein, two no fiber, and yeah, it's 
it's kind of not as satiating like it. I don't think it's really going to make me full because it's not, it doesn't have very much protein. At least the amount of, of fat is significantly reduced. Where they basically, you know, reduce the amount of saturated fat. So that should help with cutting back on calories, wouldn't it? Okay, so I also got Proto VLC cheese and chive egg scramble mix. This requires an egg and some water to make this with. This, uh, it's 160 calories as prepared, but it's 90 calories for the package alone. It has basically almost no fat. I mean, it's just a small amount. It's four grams of fiber. But it has 14, 14 grams of protein, and, um, wow, that's, that sounds pretty good. Now, I also got, uh, let me show you this, here's something special, pumpkin spice pancake mix, 90 calories per packet, it has only one gram of fat, it has one gram of fiber, 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, it has 20% calcium, or, I mean, it's 230 milligrams of calcium, but, yeah, I, this is very much suitable for the fall, and I think you can get these years round, you know, I bought this uh, off of Diet on Sale, which is a website I like to buy things, I've been buying stuff from them since, I think, probably since maybe June, that was the summer I started buying stuff from them, but anyway, oh, sorry about that, and then I got some other goodies right here, I got, um, Healthwise Gingerbread Mug Cake, and, yeah, it has, um, let's see, 130 calories per packet, 2 grams of fat, it's pretty low, and 17 grams of carbohydrates, uh, it has 5 grams of fiber, it has like 6 grams of sugar, so so I guess that cuts it down to about 12, and then 6, so 6, it subtract 5 and 6, which would be about 11, no that's not, yeah that's 11, so I would cut it down to about, uh, let me do the math really quick. There would only be six net carbs, it's amazing. And then it has 12 grams of protein. It has a pretty good amount of fiber in this too. They definitely make it more, you know, nutritious. It says good source of fiber, excellent source of protein. You really can't go wrong with this. I mean, this could be good not just for the fall, but also for, you know, the winter. Like, whether it be Christmas or, you know, Valentine's Day. You know, it's it's pretty nice, I would say. And then I got uh, Skinny Delight's uh, Custard Cream with Toffee Bites. I mean, bets, I should say. And this has 90 calories. It has 2 grams of total fat. It has 3 grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein, it has 180 milligrams of calcium, which is 50% daily value. Uh, oh, yeah, that's from Skinny Delight. And this, this is, this is from Healthwise, and so, no, that's from Real Barn. Oh, sorry about that. I will show you that, and that's just Pam Spray. I, I actually... Got this uh, from the store, grocery store yesterday. No, I got this morning. Duh. Okay, never mind. Pam spray, butter flavored, rich butter taste. I mean, the calories are so low. This is just per zero point you know, twenty five grams per serving, which is supposed to be a quarter second spray. But you can spray a lot of it. It's not really gonna have. It'll break, which give you about nil in calories. Um, so, yeah, and I told you, this is, uh, I probably didn't mention, this is from Healthwise, this is also from Healthwise, this is from Proto VLC, Pop Quarters, uh, Spicy Case, so I showed you that. This is, uh, Gingerbread uh, Mug Cake is also from Healthwise. So, it basically showed you all the, you know, boxed foods, some of them I have to prepare, 
which I don't have much of a problem because it should go really quickly, you know. Anyway, so anyways, I got this red uh, bag here. This one I'm going to show you. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, fava chips, uh, plant protein, spicy cheddar, um, made with fava beans. It has 10 grams of protein, it's 140 calories, it has 3 grams of fiber. Um, it has like 5 grams of, no, 6 grams of fat. It has. It has 8% potassium, or it's 360 milligrams. And, uh, yeah, I, I've had these before, and I like these, the fava chips made with fava beans. It's pretty ingenious, I mean, knowing how this is one of those plant-based. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely something suitable for if you're vegan. Go for this. I'm sure you might like these. Okay, so here I will get to show you my surprise. Oh, one more thing I was going to show you before I start with the main attraction. Uh, I also bought some Zevia uh, black cherry flavored, which has zero calories. And this is, you know, you can't go wrong with consuming. If you like soda and you want something that's calorie free, made with some natural sweet uh, sugar like you know which is the stevia i highly recommend it oh sorry but oh how isn't life just fun i just dropped some <laughs> um uh, but i know i'm not exactly the most organized fellow <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay so now the 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 big attraction I will present to you. I am going to make a pizza uh, with these tortillas, and here's a very and here's something special you need to know. Oh, sorry. So I got these soft shell flour tacos, which are made by La Banderi La Banderita. I yeah, uh, La Banderitas. Uh, it's. Uh, carb counter, uh, it's carb lean tortillas, and get this, four net carbs in here, it has, you know, it's made with extra virgin olive oil, it says 11 grams of fiber, 45 calories per serving, and I mean for this whole, this is big, like this is massive, you know, if you compare this to like, um, Mission Bell's like, uh, soft shell tortillas, which are smaller, it's only 70 calories, but this is even lower, 45 calories, people, that's a lot, it's like 42 grams, and then, um, it's 5 grams of protein, which isn't as much as the fiber, it has 11 grams of insoluble fiber, unlike soluble, I don't know the difference, I have to do some research on that, but that's still pretty neat though, and this will go well for making my pizza, even though you don't usually use something like that to make a pizza with, but a lot of people do, which I think is very ingenious, it makes it more like a Mexican pizza, very Spanish. You know, actually, when you look at the, like, like green, white, and it kind of reminds you of the Italian flag, too, but it's supposed to be Mexican, like, really Spanish, but, but, it's, it's all cool, man, it's all cool, I love Latino. Okay, so, and here are the ingredients I'm going to use to making the pizza, besides this, of course, um, I have Oscar Mayer lean beef, which is only 60 calories per, you know, and this has, like, yeah, it's really weird. They don't tell you how much grams of protein it is on the front. But right here, it says 6 grams of protein, probably 60 calories. So it's like about, you know, 10 calories. Uh, if it were just straight protein, it'd be like about, like, say, like 10 calories per 6 grams of protein. Protein, even though if you do the math, six grams, because there's four calories per gram protein times six, you only get 24 calories. But anyway, I mean, it has some fat in it though, it's just 3.5. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's 3.5. Yes, I was correct. 
and 20 milligrams of cholesterol, it's pretty low, sodium it's 340 milligrams, and it's really low carb, so if you're keto, I recommend this. Okay, anyways, I also got the uh, carving board. Uh, this, these will both be for a pizza. I'll cut like about this into little pieces for the pizza and put it on top of there. But of course, I'm gonna need some tomato sauce for that. And that's why I'm gonna show you that I have this. The uh, Contadita's uh, Robot Tomatoes. It's a uh, pizza squeeze. It's uh, 30 calories per quarter cup, which is 63 grams. Uh, but I don't really like having that much tomato sauce. I just stick with about two tablespoons. I can use the other two tablespoons for it's like a, like a little dip for a salty snack or something like that. That should do well. There's no fat in here. There's, you know, some carbohydrates. It's not very much protein, but it's just... It's largely carbs. So, yeah, it's only 30 calories per... Uh, but I'm just... But if I were to make a recipe like this without it, it'd be, I'd be reducing the amount of calories a bit more. So anyways, I got chicken breast here. I was going to show you. This is carving board. It has 60 calories, 470 milligrams. It has no saturated fat. It has one gram of fat, has 12 grams of protein per 56 ounces, 66, 56 grams, 2 ounces. Um, yeah, it's about 4 servings per container. And I know a lot of people don't re or try to avoid, they're like, yeah, there's preservatives in it, but I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, that's the chicken breast, and then we got the turkey breast here, which is oven roasted. Again, it's 60 calories. It also has 12 grams of protein, so it's pretty identical when it comes to calories and the grams of protein in both of these. Amazingly high. Okay, so... And with this pizza I'm going to make, you'd be amazed by how many calories there'll be, unlike other recipes, which are... Oh, higher in calories, which I know is a bit of a mistake, but you know that was in the past. So hopefully I will improve my um, You know, hopefully I'll make better recipes. So anyways, I got um, a sweet onion This also go over making the adding some nice yummy vegetables, you know this, you know, it's really weird uh, a Garlic isn't really considered a vegetable as much. It's more like an herb or, you know, a spice, but I think of it as like a vegetable, it's just it's kind of like around the same family as the onions, but they're like bald uh, foods, but anyways. So I've shown you all that, so here I'm going to show you something else, which is, oh, sorry about that, that's just the Parmesan cheese, uh, I'm almost out of it, it's 20 grams per 2 teaspoons, it's about 2 grams of protein, it's not as necessary, I mean, you can add this if you want to to the pizza, it's really not that, you know, you can make the pizza however you like, but I'm just going to show you on Wednesday the pizza I will be making, and let me tell you something, I don't really like uh, the Health Chef's Canola No Stick Cooking Spray very much, I know, yeah, it is a cheaper alternative, I could buy this from the Dollar Store if I really want to, which I have bought this from the Dollar Tree, actually, but it's not exactly... It doesn't taste as good as something like, like the Pam spray I showed you earlier. Where did it go? Um, got it around here someplace. Oh, forget it. Okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, I also got Kraft natural cheese, fat-free, 45 calories, folks. You know, there's like. It's, there's like hardly any carbohydrates in here, like only 2 grams total carbs, no fat, and it's 9 grams of protein. <laughs> that is a lot. That's amazing. It's so low in calories too, it's like 20%, it's 250 milligrams of calcium. It's, uh, I would say pretty healthy. And 
Now I got two flavors, which are mozzarella and cheddar, which are basically the same. You know, they have like, identical nutrition facts, but they are different flavors. They're like different species of cheese. Maybe, well, not just in terms of color, but also the, you know, this, the taste of it, how it kind of differs. I, I'm not too much of an expert on cheese. I don't really know how it's made. I mean, I know the flavors. I'm familiar with that, but... Anyway, uh, I also got some spinach, well, I will put in the pizza as well. You know, just kind of cut it up along with the onion, just to give it a nice, you know... And I think I'll add some of this uh, ranch. I actually got another... Uh, uh, I got another bottle of this you know, like this uh, jar or whatever you want to call it. It's it's getting close to emptiness, so... Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's not as much left in there. So I think I'll make use of that, too. And... Oh, yeah. There's a pan spray. I've been looking for this. I was comparing to how I think that this is better. Yeah, it's more expensive, but I would say it's better quality. But just because something is more expensive doesn't mean it's going to be better. And just because something is cheaper doesn't mean it's worse. You know, that's the thing. You know, cheap is not inherently a bad thing. You know, it actually can be quite a good thing. If you get the right food, that is. Okay, so I'm just saying, with Healthy Chef Canola, which to me is yucky when compared to the Pam's. Mmm, tastes better. They actually have a butter flavor that I actually bought something like this from the Dollar Tree as well. It's not really that good either, but... But, if you're trying to be a little bit more economic, go for this. But if you're looking for taste and more quality, go for Pam. Anyways. You know, that's just my opinion, and if Pam or Healthy Chef, you know, if you're watching this, please, I don't mean to offend, I'm just giving my opinion. I mean, I don't mean to commit any trademark infringement in any way, so hopefully you'll forgive me for that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the food that I have for this week. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of this TV show. You know, um, I hope that all the foods seem really scrumptious and delicious. And, and of course, I'll show you, um, you know, on Wednesday, the food I'll be eating as well as making. Because I'm going to tell you the recipe of how I make the pizza. I'm sure you'd be pleasantly surprised uh, about how I make the pizza. Um, I, I'd say it's, it's pretty good. Personally, I've had it before. But the ingredients might alter the taste of it so you may want to adjust it to your own personal choice so choice as in one's liking that is you know uh, and anyway so that's it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed watching it it was a lot of fun me just showing you the foods that I, I that I have on the table which I will be eating you know throughout the week so you know from which is starting tomorrow Tuesday through next Monday. So um, I hope you have a good day. Bye. See you guys.